Hey everybody, it's X Heidi TVX here. Just a cross dresser, male or female, and today's video is actually just kind of random. I feel like just posting a video because you guys have been so nice and so kind. So yes, um, there are a lot of questions that are coming in, and people are just asking me here and there, what's my favorite article of clothing? What kind of clothes do I like to wear? What as a cross dresser should you do if you like to cross dress? Well, I think. Personally, with the whole cross-dressing thing, if if it's something that you personally really like to do, and if it's something that certain clothes pertain to you, what kind of clothes should you wear? Then yeah, on this YouTube video, I'll be talking about that a little bit. So for me, I can only speak for myself, of course. I love to cross-dress in mainly uh, dresses. Um, you know, something so like the casual attire, kind of jeans and such. I like to wear bodysuits, leotards, and swimsuits and such like that. So I'm wearing, actually wearing a swimsuit right now. And if you guys want to see more, obviously I have a link in the description as well. If you want to join my OnlyFans, there's a link there down below in this YouTube video in the description. So other than that, like everybody's got their own taste. Everybody's got their own um, style and such like that. So it's definitely something that you want to go into, kind of like what you want to go pertain to, what kind of clothing style. So. Personally, I know I've changed my style a lot and I've changed it to the fact that like I've had like just more casual. I went from punk to like goth and stuff like that. And like you can even say with like wearing the makeup, even as a guy, you can wear like eyeliner and stuff like that. And it's like all like, yeah, this is cool. I'm a goth and all that stuff like that. But I was in my earlier days, obviously, and I was just like, oh, yeah, it's so fun to wear this kind of. Um, makeup and such like that so if anybody tells you otherwise you know like what kind of um, clothes should a cross dresser wear if they should always wear like these panties or whatever dude like if you want to wear boxers go ahead you wear whatever you want don't let anybody else tell you what you can't or can not not wear and as a cross dresser myself I say wear whatever you feel like it and if you think about it, clothes don't really have, I mean, they do have something that characterize, at least in society, the whole social norms, uh, you know, men wears this, or women wear that, but they don't really have a gender. Like clothes don't really have a gender in the sense that like a clothes, like a, a pants doesn't have like a, a, you know, that P word or a V word and stuff like that. So it doesn't have that kind of, um, whatever's down there, you know, but it does pertain to each clothing, like gender, I get it, but with the social norms and social construct, I think that's a little, it's a little bit difficult to go into, but to me, if you like wearing jeans, if you like wearing even more androgynous type clothing, that works too, like everybody's different. So experiment, style, just go around and do, do certain um, clothing uh, routines. And what I did with me is like, I actually, with my wig, this is a wig. So I went through so many wigs, like throughout my whole lifetime. And I would say I went through like over eight or so. Well, to me, that's a lot. And I know, I know a lot of other people who have had like a lot. <laughs> We're talking about over 30 probably or something like that. But I went over about eight. But a lot of these wigs that I went through, even some of them were like, really high quality ones like we're talking about over 100 200 dollars i was spending on each wig so i wanted to try it and at first i was getting the whole just basic regular cosplay wigs you know they're just like synthetic ones and i wouldn't worry too much about like nowadays i feel like i wouldn't worry too much if it's like oh i should get a human hair wig they're like 500 dollars or some of that this is still like lace front but it wasn't that much. It was like around $70, $80 or something like that. At least to me, that's not much compared to my $200 other, you know, lace front wigs, which I felt like they were an experiment, but in the end, I kind of regret it. But at the same time, I learned a lot. So that's cool. And, you know, always look up reviews, look up places online, even if it's Amazon, look at reviews and see what people think about it. Like this is the most realistic human hair type wig lace front that I've had in a long time and I actually got it from Amazon so if you just type in human lace front wig you know and just take care of it I've had this almost for about a year now so I love it and it's so smooth it's so realistic looking and at least to me I love it and as long as you love it whatever color that's the cool thing about cross-dressing too guys like 
you can just wear whatever wig, wear whatever color, or just go even natural. Like, sometimes I do that, even at home. Like, I go natural, I don't wear a wig and stuff like that, and I have my natural hair. So everybody's different, and people will probably leave a comment and say, hey, I wanna see your natural hair. Well, I've, I've done, I haven't done a video, but I've left pictures online before. But anyways, um, yeah, so just experiment, have fun wear whatever, even if it's this bodysuit, leotard, swimsuit, whatever you want to wear on this YouTube video, just go out there and just talk about it and just know that you are special, you are young, or whatever age you are, it doesn't matter if you're young or older, just go out there and experiment and just go and have fun. You know, I've had people that actually messaged me, they were like 70 years old and they're like, oh, I'm still doing this, you know, I'm still cross-dressing, I love it. And they have n not many people to kind of connect to because I guess the older generation is like, you know, they're getting into the internet um, maybe like 20, 30 years ago or so. But regardless, like, it wasn't the same as it was back then. And now, like, sexual, like, sexuality and human sexuality and stuff like that has been opening up a lot more. There's a lot more freedom when it comes to it. So I definitely love the fact that we have the internet here on YouTube and that we're able to talk about this kind of stuff. So... As a cross-dressing channel, this is definitely something I love doing. Using this as a platform to be able to talk to you guys. And I'm very grateful. So if you like this video, please do subscribe, like, you know, and all that such. So I'm really, really grateful. So thank you so much. Um, if there's anything else that you ever want me to cover or any topics you feel like you want to have any questions, because I do get questions a lot via email, surprisingly. Um, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think or let me know what you want me to cover or talk about. So there's a lot of topics when it comes to cross-dressing, but that was some of my some of my topics that I wanted to cover today, especially like what is it you want to wear? What kind of wig should I get? You know, there's a lot of things. So obviously, you know, go out there and experiment. I think that's what mainly it is. And look at reviews, read reviews, and you don't need to go anywhere that has like, oh, this is you know, this, this dress is for cross-dressers. And I've seen those kind of stores that do that. And they overprice some of the clothes. So I don't really like it as much because I feel like you can still buy some inexpensive clothes or even women clothes, makeup, and still be fine. Like drugstore, high quality, whatever you want to go. And then just kind of work your way up, practice. That's what I did. And I practice a lot with makeup. So that's how I got a little bit better with it throughout the years because I didn't look as good as I used to, but I definitely have to say, if you experiment, look in the mirror, tell yourself you love yourself, and it's just practice and stuff like that. So I definitely believe in the thinking in your mind, if you believe that you are a female and all that stuff, even if it's just for fun, for temporarily, it definitely affects your mind. You are what you think. So that's why I definitely wanna always give out positive vibes, positive love, and continue to build this community. Um, and knowing that you guys are awesome because you're always supporting me, leaving comments and saying kind, beautiful, awesome words. So yeah, all right, well, I'll just end my video here. So if you did like it, please do subscribe. Hit the bell icon, that helps a lot. Watching this whole video throughout or any of my videos, leave a comment on any of my videos. Um, hit like, subscribe, let me know what you guys think. And once again, I'll try to do my best to get back to you if not, I will thumbs up it or heart heart the um, comment and stuff like that. So I really appreciate everybody, but I do read. I just want to let you know. I do read everybody's comments. So some of them are nasty, but it's okay. Y'all y'all cool. So regardless, I appreciate it. This is X Heidi TV. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. And I'll continue to make more. And thank you so much. And once again, if you're ever interested, link in the description. And take care, guys. Have a nice, wonderful, beautiful day.